So when do we cash out of our Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins? Now, I'm not saying this is the only indicator to look at, but I personally believe this is definitely the strongest. And absolutely no one talks about this. And to be honest, in my four years of looking at crypto, investing in crypto, I didn't know about this until like two months ago. It would have helped back in May. So to look at the past, we can't look at 2013, 2014 bull run because that was just Bitcoin. Uh, the altcoins did not exist. Um, there was no alt season until 2017, 2018. So we only have one period to look at per se. But the strongest indicator is right here up at the top. It's been in front of our faces the whole, this whole time. Uh, the Bitcoin dominance. Okay. So I found a really good article. Um, that was written in April of this year. And, okay, so they went back, because it's very hard to look at, unless I guess you're paying for charts, to look at charts from past years, past months of past years, but this article is saying, so it's the biggest Bitcoin dominance decline. Um, the biggest one so far took place at the turn of 2017, 2018, when Bitcoin swiftly lost 50% of its value. In just five weeks, between December 4, 2017 and January 8, 2018, Bitcoin dominance dropped from 71% to 35%. Um, and I don't have it pulled up right now, but I was looking at um, this chart from... January 2017, Bitcoin at the start of the last bull run, Bitcoin dominance was at 80%. And then um, December of 2020, January of 2021, Bitcoin dominance, 80%. Now, I don't expect the dominance to go up. I was thinking it would go up over 50 um, this article is also saying that uh, they think the average Bitcoin dominance should be 52 to, 50, to 53% because the altcoins have such an influence right now, which is a good thing, but might be harder to track. So, okay, so they're saying December 2021 indicator was 71%. Okay. And then on January 8th, it was at 35.5%. Why is this important? Because the top of the bull run last time was January 11th. So three days after Bitcoin down struck down to 35.5%, which was the lowest, three days later, I guess, I mean, it moved up for three days. And at the third day, it was at its highest point. Before it crashed. Okay. So. That's very important. Um, so everyone's talking about. On this bull run. It's kind of mirrors 2013. Because there's two peaks. There's basically two bull runs. And. So this year. January. It was at 80%. And then. In May, I think it was like May 12th, it went down to 35%. It was down to 35%. And then three days later, I don't know how, maybe it was, it was two days later, but a couple days later, that's when everything started com coming way down. So, looking back at this, so this was at like 47% a couple days ago. What's happening is we're losing 0.4, 0.5%. So half of a percentage point, like a day. 
So, I think we're going to go up to like 47, 48% for a little while. But, um, if you look at right now, let's say it's 45%. Okay. So, half of that is 22.5%. Now, I was thinking maybe this time instead of 35%, it would probably go down to about 25%. But if, if it's... 35 percent that means in the next 20 to 30 days will be the top of this bull run if it keeps going down each day now something to consider ethereum in 2017 only had a five percent dominance so it's 15 percent it's taking 15 percent away from bitcoin so if this was back in 2017 Bitcoin would be at like a 60% dominant still. And it would have 25% more to go. It's about almost half. So if you look at it that way, between 25 and 30% dominance is going to mark the top of this bull run. But for me personally, once Bitcoin dominance is 35%, that's an indicator for me to start taking profits. Before, I was looking at it more of an amateur, I guess you can say. You know, I wanted, you know, VeChain to hit $2, Cardano to hit $8, and then I'll, I'll take all of it out. Because that's good enough for me, for in my position. But, look at it more scientifically and, and mathematically... Once this hits 35%, I'm going to start taking out daily profits. And then if it hits about 32, 30%, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm not going to play chicken with it, saying, oh, I'm going to wait for it to go down to 25%. Because that might be it. So once it hits, if it goes down to 32, 30%, past 35% Bitcoin dominance, and Ethereum stays about the same, but Ethereum would start going down too. So Ethereum would be under 10% at this point. I'm taking what I want and taking out. So, again, this is not the only indicator. I think if... Um, I think uh, in the next 20 to 30 days, we're going to see a ridiculous amount of gains. Also, the second indicator, I think, is not scientific... But it's there's it's hard to explain. There's a euphoric feeling of oh my god, I can't believe this has gone up so much. Point. Like we didn't see it back in May. Cornell was at two fifty or I don't know, around two twenty two fifty. Let's say I don't know exactly what it is. But we weren't saying oh I think this is the top. I don't think. Um, but let's say Cardano goes from two to seven dollars in the next twenty twenty five days. That might be a good indicator of start taking your profits out. Because if history does repeat itself, everything is gonna lose at least seventy to eighty percent. And it can only I mean I, I see a lot of expert YouTubers in the in this crypto field that's saying, oh, it's going to extend into next year. Oh, it's only going to be 50%. 50% would be great. But you have to go off of history. All this technical analysis is based off of history. Now, it's the only thing we have. We cannot predict the future, obviously. But we can look at a couple indicators like Bitcoin dominance, and I'd say, so the lowest Bitcoin dominance went last time was at 32%. That's the lowest it's ever gone. So, I'm thinking, once we hit below 32% Bitcoin dominance, that's going to be it. You might have one to three days before things start dropping. Now, the good part is, they don't drop 85% in one day. You'll see a 5, 6%, 10%. But 
but you'll see it, you know, slowly dropping every day. And then we'll we'll hear about you know a lot of this, a lot of experts will be like, oh, it's going to bounce back up, it's going to bounce back up because it's going to be end of September, or early October. And I'm what I'm trying to say and warn everyone here that's watching this video. Once Bitcoin is in historic low, under 32% dominance, that's when we really have to start paying attention and get organized and get everything in order, get our ducks in a row. I think we're saying this. So um, that's just something to look at, guys. Um, that's my biggest indicator of when I'm going to Start taking profits out at 35% dominance now. I'd love it to go up back up to 50. Okay. And then hang around there. Hang around between 40 and 50% for three months. That would be the most amazing feeling. But I know once it hits below 40 and it gets into the 35% range. 32 to 35%. That's when I know. Okay. I better start taking serious profits. So. Thank you so much for watching. For subscribing, for liking, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's have a conversation about this. Um, I can't wait for this conversation to begin. And I will see you on the next one.